Beautiful Friday. It fact. is very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're so happy it's Friday and time for the DMV sound check. This week we are celebrating a local artist and mm -hmm. we've got the 36th annual Whammy Awards. We've been talking about them. The Whammies yeah. are coming quick. They're coming fast. Yeah, they're happening on Saturday, April 20th. And here to tell us more of what we can expect. We're learning more and more every time they're here. We have Eric Lilly, who is the CEO and executive director of the musicianship. We have Paul Reed Smith, who's the founder and owner of PRS Guitar and local recording artist. Anise, thank you all for being here. Thank you for having me. Thanks for having me on. It's getting closer, Eric. Are it's, you starting to feel yes. the pressure? <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's a happy whammy Good Friday for us because we're in the throes yeah. of whammy development and production. We're down the home stretch. Yeah. But we're really, really excited about the lineup that we have. And, and, and all the music enthusiasts who come out for in the DMV. So, you know, uh, it's, it's been a great, great journey. Um, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to all the new artists that we're celebrating, some of the legends and legacy people that are coming out that we are uh, recognizing. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to, to, to a really good time. So. What's the importance of the whammies to this area? I think the one, it, it's a celebration of music. Uh, and, and it has, it's, it's the largest celebration of music in, in D.C. and year 36 annual. So it has been around yeah, for 36 yeah. years. Yeah. We repositioned it when we acquired it in 2018 from the former Washington Area Music Association. Mm -hmm. So our job as a music, a nonprofit music education organization is to provide platforms for emerging musicians, celebrate their accomplishments in different genres, uh, provide music education to the worthy youth who couldn't either afford it in the district. And this year, one of the things that we're doing different, which I mentioned before la uh, last time we spoke was is to really really honor and recognize some of those people who have made lifetime achievement and contributions to the music industry who aren't necessarily musicians themselves but they're behind the scenes uh, yeah. They're the movers and shakers and influences a lot of musicians yeah. interact with. It takes and, everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, takes a, it takes a music village. Yep. So we're yeah. just celebrating the, the diversity uh, of music and the diversity of creatives, content holders, business yeah. individuals, yeah. promoters, individuals who yeah. are all part of the creative ecosystem in the DMV. Well, the last time you were here, we were trying to get more information on who are these people you're honoring. It was all kind of secretive, yeah. and now I see <laughs> Paul sitting down here. Oh, <laughs> all right, yeah. So, Hi, uh, Paul. We, we, let the, we let the cat out of the bag. Dude. Yeah, the the Hall of Fame, The way right? this ties the different genres of music together in mm. D.C. Yeah. you got to remember, Go-Go started here. There was a huge Top 40 scene, right. a huge blues scene. Now there's a hip-hop scene, and there's this modern music thing that's <laughs> going on. Um, the, the amount of jazz and all the extraordinary different kinds of music in D.C., the whammy makes us all come together and honor it as one. And that's what's beautiful about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ever yeah. humble. He doesn't even I talk know. about yeah. any of your accomplishments. You, you have okay. this gorgeous guitar here in front of you. Well, Built I like PRS the guitar. Built PRS guitars. <laughs> one of the top guitar manufacturers in the world. We're talking about mm. John Mayer uses your guitars. Yeah. You started as a musician. You've had this whole journey. What would you tell to other artists who are starting out their journey? I've heard stories that Christine <laughs> Aguilera used to sing to her animals on her, her stuffed animals on her bed, dreaming about that. For me, I grew up in Bowie, and I would, was dreaming about be a guitar, being a guitar maker. And if I walked into Washington Music and I opened a case of a guitar I made, it would draw a crowd. But if I played, everybody ran away. So I had to listen to that yeah. feedback. Um, although they're allowing us to play at the Whammies, which is going to be That's fun. That's awesome. <laughs> but I would recommend to any artist to not just follow their dreams, but go down every single rabbit hole to learn about each piece of mm. that music is about rhythm it's about harmony it's about melody it's about wordsmithing and if you don't combine it beautifully and you don't have the rhythm part together you're not going to work right. mm. and so you, for me they've got to find teachers and yes. lots of people in the dc baltimore virginia corridor want to teach yes. nobody over 50 who's yeah. great at something doesn't want to teach. Chuck tackled us because he wanted to teach us. <laughs> yeah. Chuck Brown. Before, before he was our we teacher. hear you, we do want to talk to Anise. We first met because mm -hmm. Justin Bieber shouted you out <laughs> during the pandemic, but now you're selling out concerts around the globe and you are nominated as this year's Whammy's Hitmaker of the mm -hmm. Year. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you How very much. How does that feel? It's humbling, and thanks for believing in me from the beginning, yeah. <laughs> however many it's years so ago. It's so fun to see the, the journey. Yeah, no, it's been a journey. Um, I. I feel blessed. You know, I'm sitting with legends, and we're um, in an area that does have such a rich music culture. And so it's a special gift to be able to do it 
uh, my way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I am doing things in an independent way, a very DIY way, and to still be able to achieve such awards while doing things in a very non-traditional way yeah. um, is kind of my way of trying to teach and trying to show artists, I especially artists in this area, that you don't have to go, you know, pack up your whole life and go to LA or New York anymore. You can do it yeah. here. You can be proud of where you live and create a scene and build to the scene and you know, add a, another page to the story of your area musically. So, There's so much support here. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Paul, will you play yeah. us out when we tell people how to get tickets? You play us out a little bit. As long as you tell them how to get tickets. Oh, yeah. of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Okay. Remember to grab your tickets to the Whammies, which is April 20th at Capital One Hall in Tyson's Corner. It will actually be hosted by our very own. Allison Seymour, Wisdom Martin, and Lorenzo Hall. So you can head to whammies.org to grab your tickets now. Gonna have some great music. Yeah.